I'm Juliet from Spoilt Rotten Beads and today I'm going to show you how to make this beauti beautiful Jeremine collar necklace that was designed by the French beadwork designer Puka who created these lovely Arco beads and the Keops beads that we're going to be using today in this necklace. Um, so I'm going to talk you through everything you need in a moment and I'm going to show you how to get started. So to make this beautiful Jeremine lacy necklace here, you're going to need some of the great Arco beads. These are the Arco Parpuka beads. And um, I'm not sure if the camera can pick that up there, but you'll see there's got three holes in those beads. You'll need some mini duo beads, some of the Keops Parpuka beads, some size 11 seed beads and some size 15 seed beads, a stopper bead and then a clasp and I'm also going to be using a size 10 beading needle and some fireline thread. So to get started you need to thread your needle up with the longest length of fireline that you're happiest working with and pick up your stopper bead Thread that down towards the end of your thread and you need to be leaving a tail of approximately 20 centimetres or so because you're going to use that tail later on to attach your clasp. Go back through that stopper bead so that it all sits in place like that. And that's my stopper bead. I'll remove that later on when I come to the end of my necklace. The next thing you need to do is to take one of your Arco beads here and you need to be threading through one of the end holes like so. Take that down to your stopper bead. There we go. And now I'm going to pick up a mini duo bead followed by three of my size 15 seed beads. Let that fall down, there we go. And now what I'm gonna do is go through the empty hole on that mini duo bead I'm going to pull that tight and then I'm going to pick up another of my Arco beads and I'm going to go down through the hole like, like so. I'm going to pull that tight and that's going to sit like just like that there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick up one, two, of my size 15s, a size 11 and two more size 15 seed beads and go back up through the far empty hole on the Arco bead. And now I'm ready to pick up another mini duo bead and three size 11 beads. There you go. Go back through the empty hole on the mini duo. And then I'm ready for another Arco bead. And I'm going to go down through that hole, like so. And pull that all tight. And I'll let you have a look at that and see what it looks like in a sec. There we go. And now I'm ready just to embellish the bottom of this Arco bead again here. And I'm just going to repeat this until my necklace is around about an inch and a half shorter than I want the finished piece to be. So I've now threaded on all of my Arco beads and I've chosen to use a total of 41 Arco beads and this is going to make a necklace with a finished length of around about 18 inches which sits nicely on my collarbone but when you buy this as a kit we do give you some extra beads so you can adapt it to the length that you would like. So I've come out of the top of my last Arco bead here and what I'm going to do is pick up three size 15s, one size 11 sorry and three more of my size 15 beads here and then I'm going to take my needle and go back through the two size 15s and a size 11 that's on the base of that last Arco bead and I'm going to pull that tight and that will slip around like so and just form the end there and now I'm going to add a little pico to this size 11 here so I'm going to pick up three size 15s and go back through that size 11 
and the two 15s that are next to it, like so. And that adds a lovely little pico edge there to that size 11. And now I'm ready to start using my Keops beads. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick up a size 15 and then my, one of my Keops beads here. And you'll see that they've got two holes at the bottom here and then and the holes begin from the from the sides here and what you want to do is is you need to end up with your Keops bead with the two holes at the base at the bottom here because you're going to add a little fan of mini duos onto it so I'm going to pick up my 15 and then go through one of the side holes on my Keops bead like so and now what I'm going to do is pick up three of my mini duos and go through the empty hole on the Keops bead and pick up one more size 15. And then I'm going to go through the two 15s and the 11 on the base of the next arco. And if I pull this tight, you should see it all slot into place and you get that lovely little fan of mini duos here with the Keops fitting nicely in between these two arcos. And now I need to repeat everything again. So picking up my three 15s, going back through that 11 and the two 15s next to it. And then I'm ready to add my next Keops bead like so. So I'm going to pick up a 15, my next Keop speed, position it so that the two parallel holes are popping out the base here and go through one of the side holes. Pick up three of my mini duos, go back through the empty hole on the Keop speed and pick up another 15. And go through the two 15s on the next arco bead and the 11 on the next arco bead and pull tight. And there you go, that's the embellishing done. So I'm going to continue all the way down my necklace now, but actually before I do that, I've noticed my thread is actually getting quite short, so I'm going to need to attach some more thread. So to finish off my thread, I'm going to tie a half hitch knot in between a couple of beads. Pull it tight and I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to thread through a few beads and tie another half hitch knot. And one more, just for luck, because I like to make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'll trim off my thread and I'll attach some more thread in exactly the same way using those half hitch knots. So I'll come back to you when I've added my thread and continued embellishing my necklace. So I've finished embellishing my beautiful necklace now and I'm ready to add the clasp onto this end here. And to do this, I have given myself another length of fire line thread. And what I'm gonna do is take that thread and um, go between two of the beads on the end of my necklace here and tie a knot just to join this thread on. And that knot will slip down between two beads. And I'm going to tie another knot as well. I'm going to make it double knot just to make it nice and secure. There we go. Let's join my thread on. And now what I can do is stitch through a 15 and until I'm popping out of that little 11 bead that we put on the very end of our necklace there. And what I'm going to do now is pick up eight of my size 15 beads. There's eight beads there. Let those drop down and I'm going to now go through the loop on my clasp and then back through the size 11 bead and then all of those eight beads in that clasp loop there and I'm going through it one more time just so that I give it some strength so that it's nice and secure. So I'm working my way back through 
all eight of those size 15 beads now. And pull that nice and tight. Make sure I'm not hooked over anything. There we go. And now I'm going to stitch down back to where I joined my thread. So that that's my tail of thread. And what I can do now is make sure that it's doubly secure by again knotting these two together. And that knot slips between the two beads. And what I'm going to do is now just stitch with my working thread just down into a few more size 15 seed beads and tie another half hitch knot between the beads. There we go. I'm going to do it one more time to make sure that's nice and secure before I trim off my ends of thread. There we go. So that's nice and secure now. I can now use my little thread cutting scissors here to trim off my thread ends of my thread and my clasp is nice and secure and to do the other end I'm going to slip the um, stopper bead off the um, initial end of my necklace and um, attach the clasp in exactly the same way. So I hope you've enjoyed watching. Please let us know what you think in the comments below and come back and watch next time for more.